does his defense begin for something like this? Well, I don't, I don't think the, his lawyers are going to be focusing on the, the how or what of what occurred in this terrible tragedy. Um, there are 59 individuals who will never forget uh, even one minute of, of what occurred in that slow, slow, agonizing assault. And, and I, I guarantee you the majority will be able to identify Mr. Holmes. It, it's not going to be about, about defending uh, the actions per se. I, I think, I think what has, what's going to happen now is there's going to be a focus, a change in focus uh, to why. You know, why? What was his motivation? Uh, is he um, uh, is he having difficulties at home? Is he? And I think the elephant in the room is going to be: uh, is he? In, is there? Is there going to be a, an insanity defense? Mm -hmm. And and that's what they're going to be focusing on now. I don't, I don't think they have any other choice. You say the period right now, or or since uh, he was apprehended, and what he says to police, that could be a very important part of what happens next with his potential defense. Yeah, just like the defense, the, the prosecution is going to be focusing on that issue as well. During the period of time since he, he was arrested, I'm going to I'm going to guess that he has been cooperating fully with the police. That's mm -hmm. why they know certain things like he was the lone uh, person acting. That's why they know that his his apartment is booby trapped. He doesn't have the, uh, necessarily have the right to counsel during this questioning. And if he's cooperating, then they have had a lot of time with him, and they're going to continue to have a lot of time with him through the weekend until he eventually he is charged and his Sixth Amendment rights come into play. Uh, and these are the questions they're going to be asking him. What, what, what was your motivation? What influenced you? What caused did you, were you encouraged in some way? Um, what, what was, how did you plan it? Were you high? Uh, the issue is going to be whether he has the ability to determine the wrongfulness of his, of his actions. And, and that's what they're going to be doing. All right. Edward Chernoff, thank you so much for your insight this evening. Thank you.